three A stars is like almost a minimum to apply to Cambridge. As you can see, there's nothing less than three A stars. Okay. <laughs> Leave a thumb. Welcome back guys, it's me, it's future Dr. Cringista. Now if you're new to the channel, welcome, it's none other than your fighter. Yoshi, hopefully your new best YouTuber. And if I haven't cringed you up by now, um, you get the point of this channel. Hopefully I'll be giving you medic related advice. And in this video will be the Cambridge BMAT scores that essentially got people into Cambridge. I'll explain essentially the scores along with a few other details that some people don't talk about. If you're wondering how do I get this results, how do I collect this, am I in touch with the Oxford or Cambridge admission cycle people, I just got a few special links and hopefully they'll be in the description box below. Now one other thing guys is that liking the video really really helps and one other thing is that you know the video sort of like Yeah, so like it please because it really really helps and um, let's get straight into the video. Now one of the first things to know is that Cambridge is not the same as Oxford. Clearly that took some brain power to tell you. By this what I mean is that Oxford invites around like 30% of people to the interview. Cambridge is completely different. They invite over 75% of the applicants to the interview. So if you get an interview, don't think, hey, I'm getting into Cambridge, look at you dumb people. It's not how it works. You're probably gonna get rejected um, percentage wise. I'm not speaking to you individually because I don't know who's watching this. Again, I come across a really, really stubborn, arrogant in my videos, but wallah, it's not me. It's not really how I am. Also, one other thing is that if you don't get invited to the interview at Cambridge, then um, you're not getting a medical space at Cambridge. See the way I've reasoned that via deduction verbal reason. Now, one reason that I don't like Cambridge is because came bridge, bridge, you know, three little goats, and um, they knocked over that person into the river. Um, I don't remember who was the Gruffalo, I think it was. We know that Cambridge forces a person to do an intercalation. You don't really get a choice. They're also a very traditional teaching style, which is like three years studying and then then like the patient interactions slowly embed after which is for some people it's good but for me probably not now another reason why i sort of don't really consider cambridge to be a option for me and that's the reason why i didn't apply was that it's majorly outside london and the maintenance fee that's probably an extra 10k slapped on yearly ridiculous honestly just don't take that option it's just honestly not worth it our medicine degree is a medicine degree no matter where you go to and people will take you like a doctor is basically the same no matter where he goes. One thing that you don't know is that you can take your intercalation at another university. So, if, for example, Oxford, um, you can do your five years there and then intercalate at Imperial, which is pretty mad. I'm not going to lie to you. It's pretty, pretty sick. Now, one reason that I don't really like Cambridge is the forced intercalation, the mandatory one-year extra intercalation, one year slapped onto your life that you have to take on some random subject, especially if you just want to be a doctor. Um, it could be something that is beneficial, but it will be like science related and majority of the times you probably will not use it in your degree. Some people will, some people won't, but the majority will not basically. Some, obviously if you've done the verbal reasoning section, you will know it can be more than 0% all the way up to like a 99. Now if some people are going to Cambridge for freedom, and we all know what that means without spilling the beans on what that means, I stuck for love. One thing to know about applying to Cambridge for medicine is that different like college names will have different requirements. For example, like um, I'm checking out right now, Emmanuel, Kings, Lucy, um, Noonham, Prembroke, Peterhouse will have different requirements. So for some people or for some colleges, their average will be lower. So strategically choosing your university like college is really, really important. Some people, that's why like the best, like one of the best six forms that get um, Oxford spaces are like Branson Manor because they have their own team that allocate students to certain colleges within the university. So guys, pay attention to this, check it up. Um, don't apply to like Emmanuel because I know that's like one of the hardest, especially like Trinity. Trinity is apparently like really, really hard to get into. Um, so yeah, essentially, let's get straight into what was sent. So it says, Dear Man in College, um, Cambridge, please may I request the BMAT scores, interview scores, predicted grades of current holders of the A100 medicine course, um, and 
the guide is essentially given here. So, okay, it says thank you, they respond. The Freedom of Information Act, so I'm baiting out the links for already. Predicted grades. And if that's given like a, as a standard, three A stars is like almost a minimum to apply to Cambridge. As you can see, there's nothing less than three A stars. So guys, grades need to be on check, but they don't give it that much emphasis. Um, so just make sure that you get three A stars or get your four A stars. Um, I wouldn't say pick up an extra subject. That's not my advice. Get three A stars, and hopefully you should be fine. Also, B B Mat one sections. 5.1 that's like the lowest and do you remember once you see a score like that it's not that they got 5.1 and for example on section 2 they got 5.7 it's probably not the case what what is probably the case is they got 5.1 in section 1 and then they got like 6.8 on section 2 so it sort of averages out and let's see how fast this maths can go to oh my maths bad 7 oh, what's the gap between that I don't know, I don't know, I flop in. But essentially, um, 6 point something. 5.95? Yes, 5.95. So, near a 6 essentially. And um, that just gives you an indication. So, if you're scoring 3 in a section, expect to be rejected. I'm sorry, I don't really want to be harsh. But the harsh reality is that people who score really, really high are probably ones who are going to revise like crazy for the interview and smash that as well um, as I said like in the Oxford one as well BMAT section 3 isn't given that much importance so you can do like rather bad but the standard is 3.5 3 interview scores that's for another section they would judge you separately on that so if we're gonna check it says VHTML okay clearly not working download um, and we'll check that out later so I'll show you exactly what's going on. Now the takeaway to this video is that strategically plan the college at the university that you plan to choose like for example Emmanuel Trinity so on and so forth Pembroke um, I'm just trying to remember some of their names and two to absolutely smash your BMAT obviously this is the standard but one thing I really want to emphasize is that if you let's just say get an average score of 4.7 please don't apply to Cambridge and I know it's a possibility, yeah, you can get in, but it's just really, really unlikely. No matter how good you honestly think you are, but just remember there's no real pressure on you to conform with people and just apply to Oxford or Cambridge. For the sake of applying, don't do that. Apply to a close university to you because you'll be spending five to six years there. The last thing you want to do is go to some far university where you're away from your family. Potentially your morals can change depending on who you're with. And you know, it's just cheaper and personally I'd find it better just to stay at home um, and um, when I say stay at home I'm not talking about for example like your mom feeding you at home but just build your independence at home come back come home a little bit later if you can um, try to feed yourself work yourself but have that sort of support network behind you but anyway that's a lot of waffle if you guys can bring this to 60 likes I'll be super super beneficial um, honestly it means a lot for the guys who are still here still watching Peace out, guys.